those matches against Spain and Germany fresh in the memory, but Karim, yeah. why didn't Japan practice their penalties? That's a good question, Jean-Emil, because when we looked at the penalty shootout at the end, they missed three of them, and these were poor penalties, poor shot, and they, they were almost the same way of shooting. I was quite surprised to see that at this level of competition, and they knew that this, kind, this, this can arrive obviously in uh, during the knockout stages and Croatia is a specialist of shootouts in the World Cup 2018 in the Euro 2020 played in 2021 they always go now to the penalty shot so they should have they should have done some more exercise on the Japanese side and at the end we we're disappointed they beat Japan they, they beat Spain they beat um, Germany but at the end they can't reach the next level to go to the qu- up to the quarterfinals. And that's a shame at the end for Japan. It's such a shame because they w- played such an enterprising brand of uh, football to counter-attack. Simon, uh, Japan, how far can they go with this, with this style of football? Very far. They need to build. Uh, one thing that is always punishing for the Japanese is the physicality. I think they were a little bit outmuscled at times by the Croatians, particularly in the box when balls uh, were not quite dropping to their players. But we're seeing a real evolution in Japanese football with uh, uh, now exporting away from the J League, which is the Japanese Premier League, into Europe. We're seeing a lot of the team, that Japanese team, I think seven out of the starting 11 all uh, play in the Bundesliga, not in any of the top clubs. It's true, Borussia. Dortmund or Bayern Munich, but Frankfurt, who are having an unbelievable season, Mainz as well. So a lot of talent, and I think that's the way forward for Japan, is trying to get that export away. We've seen uh, former uh, uh, World Cup winners like Iniesta go and play in Japan, but I think that's counterproductive. If you can export your young talent, like them very much the way African uh, uh, nations do, or South American nations to the top players in Europe, then you're certainly going to see it. South Korea have done so, and have repeatedly done so, with uh, ji Sung Park at Manchester United, uh, Hyung Min Son now at Tottenham, and that's what Japan uh, need to do. 